hi. So I've decided to start doing these videos kind of documenting my journey with my mac lung disease to hopefully encourage others that also have similar um, illnesses and um, give you hope hopefully <laughs> that you can still live your life and it does get better um, I probably have one of the worst cases where I'm living with only one lung and um, I actually have some cavities on my left lung that's still functional. So we're trying to get that under control and um, obviously I'm young, I'm almost 35. So I'm kind of young for this disease. So I get very frustrated because I feel like I have so much more of my life to live and um, so much that I want to do. But this disease is really making it hard. I'm also a single mother. I actually have five kids, but my two girls are the only ones that live here in Louisiana with me. My other kids live out of state. But it's just very hard making sure that they live their best possible life. And they're involved in extracurricular activities. And um, right now, I'm still working a regular job. Um, until I hopefully get approved for disability which I'm gonna document uh, my struggle with that which has been a struggle for a very long time it's very frustrating but um, I'm also an entrepreneur and um, I'm determined for my projects that I currently have going on to work like whether I have this disease or not like I, I don't care this is not gonna keep me from following my dreams um, because it's not fair it's not fair to me and I'm not gonna allow it to happen and I feel like as long as I stay positive and keep the faith that um, things will get better they will so I had a doctor's appointment yesterday morning and um, during the doctor's appointment I found out that this lung disease is also affecting my heart I didn't have this problem before but recent tests have shown that um, I have extremely fast heart rate which I always knew that since I was diagnosed but I just thought that I guess it was still fine but it's not and I also have um what did he call it um inflation I guess or something like that where I'm just breathing way harder than I should and also one of my arteries is damaged which really sucks so tomorrow I have to go have um an echo heart test um, and of course before that go provide more sputum samples yay um, that's just a reoccurring thing with this but anyway and then I have to go see a cardiologist and also a heart surgeon which scared the crap out of me but my doctor ensured me that I do not need heart surgery he just wants a second opinion I'm still really freaked out about it but anyway um, Nevertheless, when I left that appointment, I was very depressed, very upset, kind of mad at the world again, like I am oftentimes when I leave doctor's appointments, and exhausted. They totally exhaust me and take all of the life out of me. Later yesterday, I get a phone call. Um, and they were calling, it was, well, the first phone call was from Walgreens, saying that my nebulizer that I needed for my breathing treatments is a specialty item. And they can't provide it and they were like do you want to call a specialty pharmacy or whatever and I'm like no I don't want to do that crap like y'all take care of it call my doctor or something like hell no I have enough stuff to worry about then I get a call from a specialty pharmacy and I thought it was about the nebulizer for the breathing treatment however it was for the nebulizer for the um, Arike or whatever it's called the antibiotic medicine that I've been trying to get approved for for the past two and a half months and my insurance finally approved me I get my first shipment of the medication Friday and uh, Monday our nurse is coming for two hours to my house to train me on the new antibiotic now I'm gonna have to dedicate like an extra hour and a half of my life to these two nebulizers for the breathing treatment and the antibiotic treatment but I'm super excited because I feel like this is like my ray of hope that um this disease can get better for me and that I can live like a somewhat more normal life so um, the day started out really bad and then it got really good 
Now you know your health is jacked up when you get super excited about being able to have two nebulizers. Now I'm gonna have to clean all that crap every day and everything, which I'm not excited about, but I'll go to any measures right now to make sure that I get healthier and I can live the life that I deserve. So that's an update on everything. Um, I'll do a video Friday when I get my new medicine because that's gonna be kind of cool. Like it has to be refrigerated and everything. Um, it's really interesting. So we'll see how that works out. And of course, I'm still on the um, the big three twice a day. Actually, I take six pills a day, and then um, my iron supplements because I'm anemic. So um, a lot going on. But um, stay tuned for more videos. I hope this helps somebody and um, if you have any questions I'll start posting um, I'll start posting links so that um, you can ask questions or we can just talk and support each other through this journey and this process until next time